Hello, this is Panda, and welcome to part 17 of my Citizen Run playthrough. I am back again, and as you can see, I've once again changed my costume slash outfit to Hugo Bart. Um, I know I wasn't Bartman for that long. I think it was like literally the end of the video. I was uh, change my costume to Bartman, um, but I felt like if I didn't change my costume again, I wouldn't actually get a chance to try out all three of them. And if if you've been watching my Let's Play, you know that outfits and costumes. It is something I'm very important about, especially how I'm trying to get 100%. And I kind of want to show as much content that there is in the game in, 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 in this series. Um, so anyway, I'm back again, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be might as well start off the next mission. We only did like one mission last video, so hopefully this time we'll actually do uh, quite a few. Uh, so here's Barney. Uh, apparently he works at Krusty Studios now, and yeah, let's go see what this mission is all about. could do that oh no i haven't ended up in two hours my life is over <laughs> but i have to get to crusty before the limo does and i have to stay here and go through the dc sounds like a plan okay so getting down with the clown i find crusty limo and to find crusty talk to crusty before his limo picks him up okay so luckily um i do have the fr um, i have actually decided to stick with the ferrari as well um, so I did originally thought this uh, mission we actually would need to buy the uh, what's the vehicle called? Uh, there is like a f in one of these missions you, uh, in this level you will actually need to end up buying a vehicle. So I did go ahead and bought it off camera. Um, I can't actually remember what its name is. I think it's called like the Goblex vehicle or something along those lines. And uh, yeah, basically bought it off camera just because I thought I ended up needing it for this mission. Uh, but it turns out I I probably like it turns out I actually don't need it to, uh, to use it just yet. Uh, so it looks like we'll be able to stick with the Ferrari. The only problem is with that vehicle is that you literally go like it's really hard to control because you go like extremely like extra. Ah, oh, start that again. Hello, this is Hand Up. Two minutes in and fifteen. Oh, three minutes in. Hello, this is Hand Up, and welcome to part seventeen of my Sister Run playthrough. I am back again, and as you can see, we are continuing on Bart's second level. I have also changed my costume to Hugo Bart, and um, I believe that. Okay, start again. Three minutes and twenty-one seconds in. Hello, this is Panda, and welcome to part 17 of my th 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 Hello, this is Panda, and welcome to part 17 of my Sizzle Run playthrough. I am back again, and as you can see, I'm still continuing with Bart's level. I'm also. What's that? Hello, this is Panda, and welcome to part 17 of my Scissor Run playthrough. I am back again, and as you can see, I've once again changed my outfit to Hugo Bart. If you see my last video, you know I was only Bartman for like the end of the video, so I wasn't Bartman for that long, and I felt like I should have been him for this video. Uh, but the only problem is, I usually do three videos per level. Um, sometimes a level might overrun, but on average, it's three level, uh, three videos per level. And I felt like if I was Bartman for this level, I don't feel like I'd have enough time to try it all three. And if you've been watching this Let's Plays, um, you would know costumes or outfits or whatever you want to call them. It's something I'm very passionate about because I'm trying to show as enough, uh, like as much content there is in the game. And I'm also trying to get 100%. Um, so anyway, so we're now on mission two. The last video we only did like one mission on Bart's level. So um, we're on mission two right now. I think it's called like getting down with the clown or something. Let me just check. Yep, there it is. And uh, apparently Barney works at Krusty Studios now, so that's that. And uh, yeah, let's go see what, the, um, what we're going to do for this mission. Actually, before I do that, I do want to quickly explain. I did end up buying the vehicle he ends up selling. I think it's called, like, is it called Dolph or Kearney? I can't remember. I think his name's Dolph. Might be Kearney. Don't know. Um, I always get those two names mixed up. Um, 
What was I going to say? Oh yeah, I don't know, I don't actually remember the name of the vehicle, I think it's called like the Goblex vehicle, something along those lines, I'm not quite sure. And I thought I needed it for this mission just because, um, just because we're here, but it turns out we we'll probably won't actually need to use it for this mission. I think, it, I think the mission's actually called Set the Kill, and it's known for being ridiculously hard, and I think that's when you actually need the vehicle. But I just thought I'd let you know, I'm, I've been chatting on for way too long, I just thought I'd let you guys know that I have ended up buying it for when we actually do get onto that mission. But anyway, talking too long, let's start the next mission. Okay, so getting down the clown, find Krusty's limo to find Krusty, talk to Krusty before his limo picks him up. Alright, seems very simple. Oh, um, okay, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have to follow this. Um, so the reason why I'm sticking with the Ferrari and not the Goblex vehicle, whatever you want to call it, I can't actually remember the name. I think it's Goblex vehicle, I don't know, it's somewhere along those lines. Um, but yeah, the reason why I'm not choosing that vehicle and I'm sticking with the Ferrari, even though that vehicle is probably a better, faster vehicle, is mainly because it's too fast. Like, I know that sounds ridiculous, but it, it's like I'm already a bad driver in this game. I feel like if I'm driving like a vehicle like that, it would be... I, I literally will have been trouble driving and yeah, I'm already a bad driver, so I decided to stick with the Ferrari. I usually stick with the default vehicle unless I feel like I'm going to get a better deal on, on driving, but um, yeah, I usually stick with the default vehicle also. Okay, there we go. Start a race. Uh, so race Krusty limo to Squid Pool. Although saying that, this vehicle might be... Uh, the Ferrari might not be good for racing Krusty, oh, God, especially when I'm a really bad driver, so maybe I should have done... Um, the Goblex vehicle, considering I do have it, but then again, the game expects me to use the Ferrari, so, because uh, it always probably, the game probably expects you to use the default vehicle, oh, so I'm really doing really bad at this, yeah, hopefully, hopefully things will change now I'm, I'm able to catch up, um, but yeah, so, um, I usually stick to the default vehicle, with the exception of level 4, I kept switching back to the Mayubi Stacy car, just because that's a faster vehicle, and the Canyonero was more focused, I would say, more on toughness, um, so I kind of did need to end up sticking to, uh, I did need to go back to the Mario Stage 2 vehicle a few times. Uh, but yeah, I feel like for the most missions I'm probably going to use uh, for this level, um, I probably will be stick with the red Ferrari unless I, and unless, um, unless I do think I can control the complex vehicle, but I don't feel like I would be necessarily too good at it. Um, so go up this ramp, and oh no, I don't feel like we're going to win this, there we go. Um, so what I might do is, I might do what I usually do when I have bad at missions, is I'm going to speed up the video until I'm almost, you know, until I have finished the race with Krusty. So I'll see you guys um, in a short bit. And there we go, I actually complete the mission, and this vehicle is way too OP, I've been going way too fast with it. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I did end up switching this vehicle. I'm very quickly going to check what the vehicle's actually called, because I keep just calling it the Goblex Vehicle, if I'm getting it right. Uh, so its proper name is the Goblex Super Vehicle, um, not Vehicle, Villain Car. Um, so there we go, I know the name now. It's like four char It's like four words long, so I probably will end up forgetting about it. Um, but anyway, I, and also I did end up switching to it, because I felt like it was probably a little bit of a better choice than the Ferrari. But I might go ahead and actually switch to Ferrari in the in, 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 oh, can't speak, in the later mission. Anyway, here's Krusty. Let's go see what he wants. Alright, so lab coat caper, find and follow Professor Frink. Um, seems like a simple mission. Oh, okay, he's in his hover car, which is probably going to be a little bit difficult. We also have the hover car. Like, if you haven't seen the level 5 videos, which, is, to be fair, if you're watching level 7, uh, if you're watching episode 17, you probably have watched uh, level 5. But in, I actually did end up getting the hover vehicle just because I tried 100% everything and I've done the, bo the bonus mission to get it. Um, so if, this, if we actually do end up failing this mission, we probably could um, use the hover vehicle. 
Um, but if I remember this mission correctly, I remembered how the um, how it does get a little bit repetitive. Like Professor Frink does try to trick you a little bit with where he goes and keeps on going in circles, and it's a little bit. Um, it's not even like difficult. It's like doable because you just keep an eye on him. And I kind of see why they did it. If they probably, oh yeah, might as well quickly go grab this banner. And I could probably see end up seeing like why they do it, just because um, the, the kind of missions where you have to end up following someone isn't really too necessarily hard. And I can imagine, oh, okay, I, I got distracted for a second because it's like raining really badly outside. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, the, um, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so the missions where you usually have to end up following someone isn't really that hard. It's, it's generally pretty easy missions. Um, so I could kind of see why they did this one, just to like kind of throw you off a little bit. And also, okay, got myself a little bit stuck. Nope, okay, uh, let's hope I can quickly catch up to Professor Frink. <laughs> so, oh god, I'm coughing. Uh, so, oh no, I have to restart up. So what I might do is I might actually just speed up this whole mission. I, like, I believe it's just literally the whole mission is just following Professor Frank. So what I might do is just quickly speed it up uh, for a second time. I already speed it up once in this video, so I'm going to sp quickly speed it up because I don't think you guys want to see me chasing Frank around for the next 10 minutes or 5 minutes or whatever. Uh, so I'll see you guys um, hopefully in a bit. And there we go, mission complete. So I did feel like it was worth uh, speeding up the whole mission just because it was a little bit pointless. Uh, but anyway, enter the observatory and surprise, surprise, Professor Flink should be there uh, to start the next mission. There he is. Professor Frink, you've got to help me. No one believes my story. It's just like the boy who cried wolf, except instead of a wolf, it's an alien conspiracy. Aliens? Well, that would explain these strange transmissions from my plutonium CB radio. I must have intercepted an alien message. It says they're hiding the lasers in the dust drive. We're hiding them. Right. Why, well, I'm gonna leave now. Relax, Maid Layer. I'll knock the lasers out of the truck so I can show them to Krusty. And there we go. Okay, so dust for me, and dust for you. Drive to the Bluey and start, uh, stop the alien's plans. Hit the truck and collect the laser guns. All right, that seems uh, that, that 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 seems like a okay mission. But then again, saying that, I bet, I bet it's probably going to be um, a little bit of a hard one. Um, also, okay, well, I reckon all that was but doesn't seem to be, uh, seem doesn't seem to be bothering us. And uh, also, do you think we should switch to the Ferrari? Just because I don't know, because like, because this is a bit of a of a really fast vehicle. I feel like I'm gonna keep on crashing it into things. I'm, I'm generally a bad driver anyway, but I, I do feel like it would make things a little bit more easier for me if I stick with the Ferrari. But I don't know. We, 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 I'm already starting the mission now, so I might as well uh, see how well I do at this vehicle. And if I fail once, I might as well go ahead and actually do end up switching to Ferrari, just because it's a little bit more comfortable to use. This car's a little bit uh, too ridiculously fast. Um, so anyway, 20 seconds to get to the Duff Bory. It's literally just right over here. Hopefully it won't crash our vehicle as well, just because it does seem like it's smoking really badly. Uh, so hopefully... Oh, okay. Yep, okay. It does, does seem to be smoking. Oh, 9 seconds. Okay, let's hopefully we can get over here. Uh, it's literally right over here, so let's hope we can get there in 5 seconds. There we go. And uh, hopefully we do end up getting to some spanners in the way, just because I seem to be doing really bad right now. And especially how I do need to end up crashing into the Duff car, uh, the, the Duff vehicle, which is a bit of a random vehicle. Uh, to choose, I suppose, if you're using like, if, if, if you're trying to get lasers, I feel like it's a bit of a random vehicle uh, to have uh, to drop lasers. But um, uh, yeah, let's just hope that we do end up knocking into some spanners on the way, and I won't end up, um, I, I won't end up uh, destroying my vehicle for this mission. So, is there a spanner down here? I believe. Uh, there we go. Oh no, I literally mis missed it. Okay, can we just quickly? Oh no, come on. Come on. Okay, I knocked the... Oh, no. Okay, I missed it. I just call that a lost. Also, can I just quickly grab the crate? At least I got a crate from that. <laughs> for trying to, like, um, go back in to get uh, to go back to get the spanner. Um, so there we go. Two more uh, two, uh, two more uh, crates that I need to go uh, get. Uh, just throw it once. There we go. And just do it a, um, a second time. And hopefully we should be able to get the... Um, ho hopefully we should be able to get the next uh, crate. There we go. And uh, drive all the way back to the Duff Brewery. Hopefully, is there a spanner up here? Okay, I really need a spanner so badly. Because if I destroy my vehicle, that could probably be the mission over. So, hopefully we should be able... Oh, okay. I, I just fell into the um, into the sea. Shouldn't be a problem because I respawned. So, let's hope I can quickly grab the spanner on the way over here. Quickly. Quick, okay, this is really hard. There we go. Just about fit. Um, uh, my vehicle is probably a little bit bigger than I, uh, than I expected. Uh, so one minute and 17 seconds to go back to the Duff Brewery and hopefully... I can't actually remember what we have to do. Is that the mission done? I can't remember. 
we'll, we'll, we'll see once we get there. Um, let's go up here. And here we go. The the, the, the furry. Don't know why I'm like stuttering a lot today. Um, so there we go. And uh, find a laser gun and to use it as proof. Um, okay, it doesn't really give. Oh, that's literally just over there. It didn't really give you any clues. I see, I see why it's giving you like a minute and a half, uh, a minute and a half to actually find it. But then again, it wasn't really too hard because you can see it glowing in the background. Uh, so there we go. And there we go. Mission complete. So that is that mission done. Um, and then now we can go to the start of the next mission, uh, which is literally just drive to the taffy shop, which is right over. Uh, right. Oh, oh, keep crashing into things. Uh, drive to the Typhi shop, which is, is it, I'm guessing it's like, is it on the boat? Oh no, it's here. Okay, I, I got really confused there because it's like a boat, but I couldn't, okay, the, apparently the Typhi shop's here. You don't really tend to look at the background buildings, so I always get confused when it's telling me, uh, telling us to go here. Uh, so here's Principal Skinner. Uh, let's go see what we want. Okay, so full metal jackass, uh, drive, uh, oh, no, not to, to drive, uh, destroy Principal Skinner car and take back the laser gun before time runs out. Okay, apparently Principal Skinner thinks it's okay to confiscate my laser gun, despite the fact we're not in school and despite the fact it's literally like, it's, it's literally because, it's literally a weapon he's trying to confiscate from me. Like, he doesn't get the police involved or anything, he just completely confiscates this whole weapon outside of school. I don't know, I don't get Principal Skinner sometimes. And, uh, yeah, I don't even know what he's doing up this late. Uh, so hopefully we should be able to destroy him. Don't really have... I probably should have switched, like, more of a... Oh, no, we don't seem to be doing any damage to him. I should have probably should have switched to a more difficult... Um, not a, not a difficult, but, like, I probably should have switched to a more tougher vehicle just because of how, um, how fast we're probably going to have to end up going. Or not how fast. Uh, I'm not making any sense. Basically, should have uh, should have um, switched to a, to a more stronger vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm very quickly going to go over here. I'm going to quickly cancel the mission just so I can quickly switch to a better vehicle. Probably going to use the Canyon Arrow just because um, it's probably like, I, I want like something that's strong, but I want something that's, you know, drivable and something that's decently fast. And I think the Canyon Arrow might be a, a good choice, I suppose. So, uh, where's the Canyon Arrow? Although, then again, car built for Homer, that could be good. I might I might use the car built for Homer. I feel like that might be a better choice. Uh, so, talk to Principal Skinner. Um, let him taunt. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> Jack then he drives over Prince Skinner. Uh, sorry, mate, but you kind of confiscated my laser gun. Um, so I, I felt like he kind of deserved it. All right, don't really need to read all that again, just because we're already um, we're already uh, we're already listened to it. So there we go. Just continue it, and uh, hopefully this time we should be able to be able to destroy Skinner's vehicle. So can we just get him back over here? Come on. Okay, doesn't seem to be doing any damage whatsoever. Like I know, no, I only knocked into him once, but I expected to do some damage. Yeah. Okay. Skinner's vehicle somehow got a little bit better than I remember. I, I don't know. Like I always thought Skinner's vehicle would be a little bit more easy to to destroy, but apparently not. So, um, so what I might do is uh, if I do end up failing, I might end up ending the video here, and uh, we can try again in the next video, but we seem to be doing okay, um, I suppose okay progress, we're on like part 17 and we're almost done, we're like probably halfway through um, Bart's second level, and then the next the next level is literally the last level of the game, um, so we're almost done completing it, which is quite, it's quite exciting, it's always exciting when I'm able to complete a game this, but there we go, we seem to be doing okay damage to Skinner's vehicle, um, so there we go. Oh, okay. It's cut, uh, the health bar is literally fresh, uh, flashing right now, and uh, hopefully we should be able to do a few more hits. Uh, thanks to the casino car, um, it should be a little bit. Should, it should help us make it a little bit more easy for us. Come on. Okay, come on. Okay, this is really difficult, and I thought for like it, it's more difficult to finish it off for some reason. Um, okay, Skinner's vehicle managed to get away. Um, so hopefully we can just quickly drive and crash into it. Come on, come on, Skinner. Let us crash into your vehicle and get our laser gun back. Come on, come on, Skinner. All right, it's literally just one more hit and it should be done. But knowing our luck, it's probably going to take a few more hits. Yep, that is literally one more hit and it didn't work. Um, come on, Skinner. Come on, Skinner. Just let us destroy your vehicle. There we go. And uh, quickly go grab our laser gun back, and that is the mission complete. Um, so I'm actually going to end up the video there. Okay, we've made a little bit of a car accident over here. Oh, I feel bad for Skinner. He's literally just over there. I think we killed... I remember that Skinner's mum, I think, was in the vehicle, and she probably accidentally killed her. Um, anyway, so mission... What mission are we on now? So mission six... Oh, no, this mission is known to be one of the hardest missions. Um, so that's all. That's, that's what's going to be in the next video. Uh, so thank you guys very much for watching this video. I am enjoying my Let's Play so far. Hopefully you guys as well. 
and uh, also this is a really hard place to kind of control the camera. Um, so anyway, so thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do appreciate it very, very much, and I hope to see you all, all in my next video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and goodbye.